Welcome back to another episode of Panic Eats. Today we're going to make banana waffles. If you've never had banana waffles, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do it. Banana waffles are super fun to make and you can get them done in no time. All you need is a few simple ingredients and a waffle iron and you'll be set. We're going to start with our wet ingredients and that includes the bananas. So add two bananas to the bowl and you're going to want to mash them up. I start off with a fork and then I grab my whisk and I mash it kind of like a potato masher, but instead this is a whisk banana masher. Once your bananas have a good mash going on them, you're gonna to wanna to add a cup of milk, one egg, a teaspoon of vanilla, and then mix that with the whisk. And mix that for about a minute, minute and a half to two minutes so that the banana really incorporates with the milk and the egg and it breaks down the banana a little bit more. I like to mix it up until it gets nice and frothy. So with our wet ingredients set, we're gonna do the dry ingredients. Grab another bowl. You're gonna want one and a quarter cup of flour. Use about a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking powder, and about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then grab a fork and mix that up. Next, you wanna mix your dry ingredients with your wet. And you want that waffle batter. It's gonna be thick and delicious. So we're gonna let that waffle batter sit for a minute while we make some whipped cream. So to make the whipped cream, you're gonna need heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna use about maybe two cups. And then I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of sugar. If you have a KitchenAid mixer, you can use that to make your whipped cream. Sometimes I like to think that not everybody has a KitchenAid mixer. And so I'm gonna use this hand mixer. And then basically you just start whipping. So about five to seven minutes of mixing at a high speed with a hand mixer will get your desired results. You want stiff peaks, you want that thing to be, you want that to be solid, right? So that's whipped cream. I'm gonna take our whipped cream, drop it into a container, drop it onto our cutting board, Good stuff. So I have one of these Belgian waffle makers. I know waffle makers come in all shapes and sizes. I know this recipe does work pretty good in this waffle maker, but for the most part, it's not gonna matter what waffle maker you have. So we're gonna plug this in and let it heat up. We're not gonna go full power. If yours has a setting, don't go full power. I like to go just below full power, right? So we're gonna set that and let that go. While that waffle iron's heating up, we're gonna cut up a couple strawberries. We're gonna cut off the tips, cut them in half. So we got our strawberries here. When your waffle iron heats up, give it a spritz. And for this recipe, I use about three quarter cup of batter for the waffle iron. Drop that down, let it rip. There's really nothing I'd rather be doing than just sitting back on a Saturday making waffles. Thank you for watching. Now would be a good time to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so far, or if you just like waffles. And then hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from yours truly. So our waffle just got done. Look at that. Look at that guy. We're gonna make off the rest of these. Remember about three quarter cup, I'm using a half a cup, and then about half of a half a cup. So 
So we got a stack of waffles. I made three. Right? We're going to take our strawberries. Set them on top there. Get your whipped cream. Right? Take a little bit of that cinnamon. You got banana waffles. Wonder how they are. Just a little strawberry there. Mmm. Waffles are solid. Try it out sometime. We'll see you next time. This has been Panic Eats Banana Waffles. I've got whipped cream on my face. We'll see you next time. Banana waffles are pretty easy. It's just pretty much a simple waffle batter recipe and then you add bananas give or take that banana waffles are super fun to make oh, hold on